All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303com Check out the website, link in the description box. Related videos, mind, body, spirit, fitness coming at you today with an exercise video, kettlebell swing, how to properly perform a kettlebell swing or how I show people how to perform a kettlebell swing, how I was taught. So I'm going to go through some of the basics with you. Once again, this is a hip hinge movement. I'll discuss that earlier or later in this video. It's going to be associated with squats and deadlifts and things like that, hinging at the waist. So we stand up. First off, we want to make sure that our toes are evenly aligned. Some people stand crooked, and of course I'm exaggerating for you right there, but people don't realize that they're a little bit off center, which right off the bat is setting you up for failure. All right, so we want to make sure our toes are aligned here. The kettlebell is going to be right next to the crotch, as you can see. We don't want it down here. We don't want to be all the way down here. So, we got our four checklists, feet, core, chest, big, and back, head long. And with that swing, like I said, we're, we're hip hinging backwards, so we're pushing the butt back. We're not coming straight down like this. So from here, first movement, butt back. Butt back, just like that. Now. As we swing forward, we want to make sure we're squeezing the glutes at the top. The glutes should be engaged. The back of the body should be engaged. And as we swing, the momentum should get the kettlebell going. We shouldn't actually be lifting the kettlebell with our arms. The force of that hip extension and that hip hinge should force the arms just to swing. And at that point, the arms are just holding on to it. Chest big, head long. Bell close to the body. Once again, I like to let the head follow the body, so I don't want to be looking forward and seeing the back of the neck contracting like it's a curl, like a bicep curl. We don't want that neck curling. A lot of people already have neck issues. That's just going to make the problem worse. So, feet even, bell close to the groin, almost like you're hitting yourself if you're a man. Chest big, core engaged, head follow the body. Clench the butt cheeks at the end. You can go regular or you, you can take it up high, which is what they would call, if I remember right, the American swing. Now for me, I have shoulder issues. I'm not very mobile. So for me, when I swing, I feel a little discomfort in the shoulder. If you're feeling discomfort in the shoulder, don't do the American swing. Don't go big, just go short. So once again, this is hip hinge. We're clenching the glutes, chest big, bell close. I'll get you an up front. My head will be out of the picture. Bell is close, right here. Head's following, bell is close. We're not coming down like that. We're not coming all the way down. Once we start going all the way down, just those couple swings puts a lot of force on the low back. If you already have low back issues, once again, that's not something you're going to want to do. So once again, I hope that helps get you going in the right direction. Always do your own research, see what works best for you. So I hope this video helps. Subscribe to the channel, swing away, share and like these videos.